question. The maximum exemption for gratuity under uh, Income Tax Act uh, with effect from 29-3-2018 is uh, 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs, none of the above. The answer is 20 lakhs is the maximum exemption. If you know the answer, please try to post your answer in the comment section. Next question. Monthly contribution to be paid by the central government towards the national pension scheme, scheme shall be dash of the basic pay plus DA of the government servant. 10%, 12%, 14%, none of the above. The answer is 14%. 14% is the answer. For a new pension scheme, it is 14% plus D, basic pay plus DA of the government servant will be contribution by the central government. Next question. With effect from 1-1-2016, the maximum limit of family pension and enhanced family pension shall be revised to 27,000-45,000 respectively, 27,000-1,25,000 respectively, 75,000-45,000 respectively, 75,000-1,25,000 respectively. Your time starts now. Try to post your answer in the comment section. The answer is 5 seconds. Only certain questions will have timers. The other questions I will say directly. The answer is 75,000 and 1,25,000 respectively. They have been enhanced. Okay. Next question. A resignation becomes effective from the date of resignation of letter, the date specified by the employee in the resignation letter, the date, res date resignation letter reaches the competent authority, the date on which the employee is relieved from his duties. Your time starts now, 5 seconds. The answer is the date on which the employee is relieved of his duties. That will be the date of effect of resignation. Next question. An employee may seek per premature retirement from service uh, under Rule 42 if uh, he has attained the age of 55 years, he has rendered at least 20 years of qualifying service, he has rendered at least 30 years of qualifying service, he has rendered at least uh, 35 years of qualifying service. Please try to post your answer in the comment section. 5 seconds. The answer is 30 years of qualifying service under section under 42.1 of CCS Pension Rules 2021. An employee whose date of birth is 12th November shall retire on afternoon of 1st November, afternoon of 30th November, afternoon of 1st December, none of the above. The answer is 30th of November. So, if it is in the middle of the month, it goes to the last of the month, end of the month. Huh? An employee whose date of birth is 1st July shall retire on afternoon of 31st July, 30th June, 1st July, afternoon, none of the above. You know the answer is 30th June. Because any date of birth which is on 1st, falls on 1st, then the previous month ending will be the retirement date. Next question. If the date of retirement is a holiday, the charge may be relinquished on the afternoon of that holiday itself, afternoon of the preceding working day, afternoon of the next working day, none of the above. Your time starts now, 5 seconds. It is from FRSR. The answer is afternoon of the holiday itself, the charge should be relinquished on. Next question. Accepting a commercial employment uh, within one year after retirement by a group A employee is regulated under the rule CCS Pension Rules 2021. You have to identify the rule number. Rule 5, Rule 9, Rule 10, Rule 11. The answer is Rule 9. Under Rule 9, commercial employment should not be taken up within one year from the retirement in case of a group A employee. Next question. If on an application for accepting a commercial employment within one year after retirement, uh, no communication is received from the government within, dash permission shall be deemed to have been granted. 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, 90 days. If a com commercial employment is accepted, uh, if an application for commercial employment is uh, given by a government servant, uh, and if there is no communication from the government whether it is accepted or not, uh, in such a case, it, it shall be treated as deemed to have been granted if no reply is received within how many days? The answer is, try to post your answer in the comment section. The answer is 90 days. The answer is 90. Within 90 days, if no reply is received, it is deemed to have been granted. 
Next question. If the permission of uh, for accepting a commercial employment is refused or granted uh, conditionally, the applicant may make a representation against it uh, within dash of receipt of the order. 97 of CCS pension rules 2021. A. 10 days, 15 days, 30 days, 40 days. Your time starts now. 5 seconds. Representation against the not granting permission for the commercial employment is 30 days. Within 30 days, he can represent. Next question. Commercial employment in terms of Rule 9 of CCS pension rules does not include partnership of a firm, directorship of company, practicing as a professional, employment in a body corporate owned or controlled by the government. 5 seconds. Commercial employment doesn't include. It in, doesn't include the employment in a corporate owned or controlled by the government. Others will be included. Next question. Qualifying service is to be counted in. Easy question. Completed months, completed quarters, completed half years, completed years. The answer is completed half years. Six monthly qualifying period we say. Na? <laughs> For the purpose of counting qualifying service, a period of three months and above but less than six months shall be. Ignored, treated as completed of year, treated as a completed year, none of the above. The answer is, it will be treated as half, completed half year, three months and above. Less than three months, it will be ignored. Next question. Mr. X, a central government employee, has furnished the following particulars in relation to his surveys. Date of joining of service is 10th rate 1985. Date of retirement on superannuation is 31-1-2019 and extraordinary leave on medical, uh, it is date of retirement, extraordinary leave on medical certificate from 11-5-2006 to 22-5-2006 uh, is equal to 12 days and uh, half pay leave availed from 15-9-2008 uh, to 28-10-2008. And period of suspension for 3 months in 2010 was treated as Dysnar. Now you have to find out the qualifying service of uh, Mr. X will be 33 years 10 months 21 days, 33 years 7 months 21 days, 33 years 7 months 9 days, none of the above. Your time starts now. Try to post your answer in the comment section. Sometimes small problems also they may give. For IPO examination this will be useful. Okay, let, let me explain. The answer is 33 years, 7 months and 21 days. How? Here you can see that the uh, 31-1-2019 is the date of retirement. Here a date of retirement is uh, 31. Uh, this is the date of retirement. And 10-3-1985, uh, it is the date of joining in service. From date of retirement, if you re subtract the date of uh, joining in service, uh, we get the uh, net uh, gross qualifying service. From the gross qualifying service, we may have to subtract the non-qualifying service. Thus, we will get the net qualifying service. So, here we have subtracted it 33, 10 and 21. So, then it comes to, then the, here uh, extraordinary leave is for 12 days and half pay leave, it won't, it is a it is. It will be treated as service. This also will be treated as service. Half pay leave means extraordinarily on medical certificate. So, it is treated as service. What is not treated as a qualifying service? It is a period of suspension treated as dice month. So, 3 months we have to deduct here. On deducting here 3 months, you get 33 years, 7 months, 21 days. So, this is the answer. Okay. Next question. For the purpose of calculating pension, emoluments include... Basic pay, basic pay plus non-practicing elements, basic pay plus DRNS elements, basic pay plus non-practicing elements plus DRNS elements. The answer is basic pay plus non-practicing elements. This non-practicing elements is given for the doctors. Next question. For calculation of uh, gratuity, emoluments include basic pay, basic pay plus non-practicing elements, basic pay plus uh, DA, basic pay plus DA plus non-practicing elements. Try to post your answer in the comment section. The answer is 5 seconds. The answer is basic plus DA plus non-practicing elements for gratuity and emoluments. Okay. 
rigidity okay dearness allowance is to be considered for calculation of pension committed value of pension gratuity family pension the answer is gratuity remaining things da will not be there only dr will be there next question only basic pay they will take average emoluments is the average of emoluments drawn by the employee during the last how many months of his service 3 years 12 months 10 months 8 months the answer is 10 months you all know next question a government employee to be eligible for pension should be a, should have a qualifying service of at least a, 10 years 15 years 20 years 25 years we know it is 10 years minimum 10 years you, then only you will have pension otherwise you will have service credit a government servant retires after rendering a qualifying service of 15 years his pension shall be dash of his average emoluments 25% 30% 40% 50% the answer is 50% of the average emoluments next question if the qualifying service of a government employee is 32 years and his average emoluments on the date of retirement is 22915 his pension shall be 11457.50 11457 11458 your time starts now the qualifying service is 32 years the average emoluments uh, is 22915 how much you will get the answer is 114458 it will be rounded off so it comes to 11 half of the amount it comes to 11458 okay full pension 50% of the total uh, basic pay it will be given or average emoluments here in this case retirement gratuity is admissible to an employee if he retires after completion of 5 years of qualifying service 8 years 10 years 15 years rg how try to post your answer in the comment section 5 seconds you are eligible for retirement gratuity if you have qualifying service of 5 years okay next question Death gratuity is admissible to an employee if he dies uh, with a qualifying service of less than one year, more than one year but less than five years, more than five years but less than twenty years, all of the above. Your time starts now. Death gratuity is admissible to employee if he dies with a qualifying service of what? Please post your answer in the comment section. The answer is all of the above. In all cases, death gratuity will be given, but the proportion may vary. Okay. Next question. If an employee dies uh, while in service, having a qualifying service of 18 years, uh, the amount of death gratuity shall be six times emoluments, twelve times, twenty times, thirty-three uh, times of emoluments. The time starts now. 18 years of service means what will be the emoluments? The answer is it is twenty times of the emoluments. Next question. If an employee having a qualifying service of ten years uh, dies uh, while in service, the amount of death gratuity shall be two times of emoluments, six times, twelve times, twenty uh, times. Your time starts now. Five seconds. The answer is is twelve times the emoluments. All these things, uh, emoluments, uh, were, uh, for how many years? Uh, what will be the uh, gratuity, death gratuity? You may have to remember. There is a table. You have to remember that table. The amount of uh, retirement or death gratuity shall be subject to a monetary ceiling of seven point five lakhs, ten lakhs, fifteen lakhs, twenty lakhs. Your time starts now. Easy question. The answer is twenty lakhs. Next question. If the dearness allowance rises by fifty percent of basic pay, the monetary ceiling on gratuity shall increase by twenty percent, twenty-five percent, fifty percent, none of the above. The time starts now. Whenever the DA raises by fifty percent of the basic, uh, then the monetary ceiling of gratuity also increases by twenty-five percent. Interest at a rate applicable to GPF uh, deposit shall be paid if the amount, if the payment of gratuity is delayed beyond the date of retirement by months, uh, three months, six months, nine months, twelve months. The time starts now. Whenever a gratuity payment is delayed uh, beyond certain months, uh, you have to pay the GPF deposit rate. Uh, interest rate at applicable to GPF rate should be. 
paid as penalty. That is three months. In case of retirement, otherwise than on superannuation, interest shall be paid uh, if the payment of gratuity is delayed beyond the date of retirement by dash months. Three months, six months, nine months, twelve months. The answer is six months. Okay. Next question. Interest for delay in payment of gratuity is allowed uh, if the delay is on account of failure on the part of the government employee to furnish his pension papers, any disciplinary or judicial proceedings are pending against the government employee, administrative lapses, uh, none of the above. Now time starts now. When that uh, interest for delay in payment of gratuity will be allowed? The answer is uh, for administrative lapses it will be allowed. Interest on delayed payment of gratuity shall be recovered from the salary of the dealing official, the supervisor, the head of the office, all of the above. The answer is all of the above. Next, government dues can be recovered from the amount of retirement gratuity with the consent of the government employee, without requiring the consent of the government employee, with the approval of the lead of the department, uh, none of the above. Your time starts now. The answer is, without requiring the consent of the government employee, government dues can be recovered from retirement credit. Next question. If a government servant uh, does not have a family and his he wishes to nominate one or more persons as nominee for uh, death come retirement gratuity, he shall make nomination in Form 1, Form 2, Form 3, Form 4. The answer is form 2. If he does not have family and he wishes to nominate one or more persons, he has to fill it in form 2. Death or retirement gratuity shall only be sanctioned to the eligible family members of the government employee or pensioner reported missing and whose whereabouts are not known after a period of 6 months from the date of death or retirement of the government employee or pensioner, date of submission of claim by the eligible family members, Date of registration of FIR, none of the above. Your time starts now. Please try to answer in the comment section. The answer is from the date of registration of FIR. In case of a missing government servant. Next question. Total amount of pension is calculated as 50% of average emoluments drawn in the last 10 months, 50% of emoluments draws drawn, A or B whichever is more, A or B whichever is less. The answer is A or B, whichever is beneficial or more. Okay. Next question. Retiring pension is the pension granted on retirement on retaining superannuation, on voluntary or premature retirement, on compulsory retirement, all of the above. Your time starts now. Try to answer in the, answer in the comment section. The answer is retiring pension means the voluntary or premature retirement. Next question. Retiring pension does not include pension granted on discharge owning, owing to the abolition of post, pension granted on voluntary retirement or premature retirement under Rule 48 or Rule 48 a of CCS pension rules, pension granted on premature retirement under FR 56J, pension on voluntary retirement opted on being declared surplus. Try to answer in the comment section. The answer is retirement granted on discharge owing to the abolition of post. The others are retiring, uh, called retiring pension. Next question. You may have to understand what is retiring pension, what is uh, the superannuation pension, all these uh, different types of pensions. I have made a video on uh, CCS pension rules 2021. You go through it, please. Under revised pay structure as uh, as per 7th CPC, the minimum pension shall be 3500, 4900, 9000, 18000. The answer is 9000. Okay. Minimum pension should be 9000. What is the maximum pension? A government employee may, please post your answer in the comment section. A government employee may be granted provisional pension in case the employee is on deputation at the time of retirement. Any departmental or judicial proceedings is pending against the employee. There is delay in processing of his pension papers, uh, both A, B and C. Time starts now. When is provisional pension granted? The answer is 
both B and C. Any departmental or judicial proceedings is pending against the employee and if there is a delay in processing of the pension papers, this uh, provisional pension is uh, granted. Next question. In case of a delay in processing of pension papers by the office of government employee, provisional pension can be granted for a maximum period of 1 month, 2 months, 3 months, 6 months. Do you know the answer? Try to post the answer in the comment section. The maximum period for which a provisional pension can be granted. It is 6 months. Next question. This is an important question. You may have to remember. Committed portion of pension will be restored after years uh, from the date of retirement. 8 years, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. Easy question. Co restoration of commutation of pension will happen after 15 years. Next question. Pensioners are entitled to additional pension on attaining the age of 70 years, 75, 80, 85. The answer is 80 years. On attaining the age of 80 years, additional pension starts. 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 100 they will get full pension if the double the uh, normal pension if a pensioner's uh, date of birth is uh, 26 1 1941 he will be entitled to additional pension with effect from 1 1 2021 25 1 2021 26 1 2021 1 2 2021 your time starts now important question Try to post your answer in the comment section. The answer is 1-1-2021. Here the point you should understand is that uh, uh, additional pension starts at the age of 80 years. Uh, 80 years it will be in the year 2021. For the year there is no problem. All are 2021 only in the answers. Uh, however, in the months also there is a change in the months and dates. And uh, it is 26 means 80 years means it comes to 26-1. But uh, here answer is also 26-1, but it is not correct. Uh, as per rule, from the month of the uh, from the month on which uh, he attains the age of uh, 80 years, uh, beginning of the month it will be given. So it is 1-1. One, one. So 26 or 30 or 1 or 2 or whatever the date uh, here it may be, it will come on 1-1 one, one only. Okay. From the beginning of the month it will be given. Next question. A pensioner becomes entitled for additional pension equal to 30% of his basic pay on attaining the age of 80 years to less than 85 years, age of 85 to less than 90 years, age of 90 years less than 95 years, age of 95 to less than 100 years. Your time starts now. 5 seconds. Additional pension. The answer is 85 to 90 years, it will be 30%. Okay, all these pension percentages you may have to remember. Dearness relief is granted on basic pension, additional pension, family pension, all of the above. Your time starts now. The answer is on all of the above, dearness relief, DR will be there. On basic pension, it will be there. Additional pension, it will be even on additional pension also, DR will be there. Family pension also, DR will be there. Okay, next question. Invalid pension is granted on retirement after being declared as a prematurely incapacitated for service. Disability pension can be granted to an employee in addition to invalid pension. True, false, maybe, partially true. The answer is it is true. Okay. Next. New pension scheme is applicable to all new entrants uh, to central government service joining on or after 112 2002 3 11 11 2004 17 2004 11 2006 easy question new pension scheme when it has been started is 11 2004 next question pfrda stands for provident fund regulation and development authority protection fund for uh, retirees and dependents authority the answer is Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. This you may have to remember. Next question. PRAN is unique identification number allotted to a subscriber to new pension scheme. True, false, maybe partially true. The answer is correct. It is correct. Next question. PAN stands for Primary Registration Acknowledgement Number. Primary retirement acknowledgement number, provisional retirement account number, permanent retirement account number. 
the answer is permanent retirement account number okay next question during extraordinary leave uh, including on medical grounds uh, what will be contribution to nps no contribution is payable to nps either by government or the employee contribution is payable to nps by only government contribution is payable to nps by only employee contribution is payable to nps both by government and employee okay try to post your answer in the comment section 5 seconds the answer is no contribution is payable to nps either by the government or the employee during extraordinary leave next question as per ccs pension rules a pension disbursing authority includes head of the office head of the department branch of the nationalized bank controller general of accounts your time starts now please post answer your answer in the comment section the answer is branch of nationalized bank okay next question ppo stands for pay and pension officer pay and pension order pay payment order pension payment order is easy question it is pension payment order next question the exercise of preparation of list of employees due for retirement starts dash months before the due date of retirement 8 months 12 months 15 months 24 months your time starts now 5 seconds the answer is 15 months 15 months before it starts who are going to retire in the next 15 months uh, list will be prepared on the 15th of every month okay the head of the office undertakes the work of preparation of pension papers dash in advance before due date of retirement rule 56 of ccs pension rules 2021 3 months 6 months 10 months 12 months your time starts now work of preparation of pension papers the answer is 12 months before they start next question pensioners are required to furnish life certificate to the bank in the month of every year january april july and november the answer is november next question family pension is payable to the family of a government employee who dies while in service a government pensioner who dies after retirement both a and b none of the above family pension to whom it will be paid the answer is both a and b even who dies on while in service or who dies after retirement family pension will be paid to the family of the government employee family pension is admissible to the family of deceased government employee who was dismissed or removed from service and who is in receipt of compassionate allowance on the date of his death whether it is correct true false maybe partially correct the answer is true it is correct family pension is also admissible to the family of the deceased government employee who was dismissed or removed from service and who is receipt on in receipt of compassionate allowance next question when a deceased government servant is survived by both dependent parents uh, then the family pension shall be given first to father mother both equally none of the above your time starts now the answer is mother next question under revised pay structure uh, seventh cpc family pension shall be uh, allowed maximum 50000 60000 75000 125000 family pension is allowed at a uniform rate of 30% off basic pay basic plus da basic plus non, uh, non practicing allowance basic plus uh, non practicing allowance plus uh, day earners allowance your time starts now family pension the answer is basic plus npa next question enhanced family pension is payable to family of deceased employee from the date of death up to the period of 7 years 10 years 12 years 15 years your time starts now enhanced family pension is important question from the death up to 10 years okay next question it takes up from 11 2016 the excretion allowable to government family of the employee who dies in accident in course of performance of his duties is 
10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 25 lakhs, 35 lakhs. 5 seconds. Post your answer in the comment section. The answer is 25 lakhs. Next question. The amount of exgratia compensation to the family of an employee who died uh, dies during the enemy action in war with effect from 1 month 2016 shall be 15 lakhs, 25 lakhs, 35 lakhs, 45 lakhs. Our time starts now. War. During the enemy action in war, it is 45 lakhs. Next question. In case a disciplinary or judiciary judicial proceedings are continued and concluded after retirement of a government employee, the president may decide to withhold his pension or gratuity or both partly or fully, to withdraw the pension fully or partly uh, permanently or for a specified period, to order recovery from pension or gratuity, the whole or any part of pecuniary loss caused to the government, all of the above. Your time starts now. The president of India is having the power to do all of these aspects. Any of these things can be imposed. Next question. The President's uh, right to withhold or withdraw pension is vested in the rule of dash CCS pension rules 2021. Rule 7, 8, 9, 10. Your time starts now. Right to withhold or withdraw the pension is under rule 8. Next question. There can be no effect on pension as a result of minor penalty proceedings, major penalty proceedings, both A and B, none of the above. The time starts now. The answer is minor penalty. Next question. Pension is taxable as income of the pensioner under the head. Income from salary, income from other sources, income from business or profession, none of the above. Your time starts now. Pension is taxable as income. Income from salary. Next question. Family pension is taxable under the head. Income from salary, income from business or profession, income from other sources, none of the above. The answer is income from other sources. In respect of income from family pension, a standard deduction is allowed under Income Tax Act for an amount equal to 33, 1 by 3 of this such income. 15,000, ARB whichever is more, ARB whichever is less. The answer is ARB whichever is less. Okay. Next question. Death come retirement gratuity received by government employee is exempt under section 1010 of Income Tax Act up to the maximum of 50% of the gratuity, 100% of the gratuity, 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs. Your time starts now. The answer is, it is 100% of the gratuity is exempted. Okay. Next question. Amount of committed pension received by government employee is fully taxable as income from salary? Taxable up to 50% of such amount? Fully exempt from tax? None of the above. The answer is, try to post your answer in the comment section. The answer is fully exempt. Committed pension is fully exempt. Now we are seeing an important question. Request for withdrawal of resignation by government employee may be allowed if the period of absence from duty between the date on which the resignation became effective and the date of which he is allowed to resume duty as a needful of withdrawal of resignation does not exceed 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, none of the above. Your time starts now. Try to post your answer in the comment section. Whenever a government servant uh, uh, resigns first uh, and he later on realizes that I have unnecessarily resigned, he, he will request for withdrawal of such a resignation. In such a case, what is the maximum period within which he may have to apply so that his uh, so that he can be considered for with, withdrawal? Okay. Date of resignation become effective and the date of which allowed to resume duty. And it should not be it should not exceed. 90 days. This is very very important. Within 90 days he may have to apply and it should be considered. He has to resume duty within 90 days. And that means including consideration and all, he should be allowed uh, by the competent authority within 90 days. After 90 days, uh, if he does not resume to duty, he, he will not be allowed forever. Next question. Senior pensioners uh, that is 80 years and above have been allowed to submit their life certificate with effect from every year. 1st of October, 1st November, 1st December, 1st January. 
The answer is 1st October. Next question. Monthly contribution to paid uh, to be paid by the central government towards national pension system shall be a dash percentage of basic pay plus D of the government servant. 10%, 12%, 14%, none of the above. Your time starts now. Monthly contribution by the central government. How much? It is 14%. Next question. In case of death of a re-employed pensioner, where death is attributed to government service, uh, family pension under extraordinary pension rules is uh, in respect of service in re-employment would be admissible in addition to the ordinary pension, family pension in respect of previous military and service, civil service? True, false, maybe, partially true. The answer is true. Okay, next. The maximum exemption for gratuity under Income Tax Act with effect from 29-3-2018. 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 25, none of the above. The answer is 20 lakhs. Next question. Request for withdrawal of a resignation by the government servant shall not be accepted by the appointment authority, appointing authority where the government servant resigned with a view to taking an, up an appointment in or under a private commercial company. A corporation or a company wholly or substantially owned or controlled by government. A body controlled or financed by the government. All of the above. Your time starts now. The answer is all of the above. Next question. The amount of provisional death gratuity determined on the basis of length of qualifying service uh, which is verified and accepted immediately preceding the date of death of an employee shall be authorized to the beneficiaries within Dash from the date of death, one week, one month, three months, six months. Your time starts now. Provisional death gratuity determined on the base of length of qualifying service, uh, which is verified and accepted immediately preceding the date of death of the employee shall be authorized within one month from the date of death. Next question. Government servants uh, covered under national pension system on joining service on or after 1-1-2004 have been given one time option to cover to be covered under the CCS pension rules if uh, they were declared successful for recruitment in the result declared on or before 31 12 2003 they were appointed against vacancies uh, that occurred on or before 31 12 2003 none of the above both a and b your time starts now one time uh, one time option they have given the answer is both a and b are correct. A child or sibling of a deceased government servant, a pensioner who is suffering from mental or physical disability shall be eligible for family pension for life if he or she fulfills the following conditions. A disability certificate is issued by the competent medical authority. His overall income from sources other than family pension remains less than entitled family pension. Both A and B, none of the above. Your time starts now. The answer is both A and B. Next question. With effect from 1-1-2016, the maximum limit on family pension and enhanced family pension has been revised to 27,000-45,000 respectively, 27,000-1-lakh-25,000, 75,000-45,000, 75,000-125. The answer is 75,000-125. Next question. In cases where a person is eligible to receive family pension is charged with the offence of murdering the government servant or for abetting in the commission of such an offence. No family pension shall be allowed for the period till the criminal proceedings are concluded. The payment of family pension shall remain suspended till the criminal proceedings are concluded. The family pension may be allowed to other eligible member of family till conclusion of criminal proceedings. None of the above. So time starts now. The answer is, the family pension may be allowed to other eligible member of family till conclusion of criminal proceedings. Next question, invalid pension is regulated by rule of CCS pension rules 2021, rule 35, 36, 38, 39. Your time starts now. The answer is rule 39. Next question, compulsory retirement pension is governed by the rule CCS pension rules 2021, 38, 39, 40, 41. Answer is 40. This you have to remember. Compassionate allowance is granted to a government employee on compulsory retirement. 
a government employee on dismissal or removal from service the family of government employee who dies while in service none of the above your time starts now the answer is a government employee on dismissal or removal from service next question a government servant who is uh, discharged from service owing to abolition of his post is granted retiring pension compassionate allowance compulsory retirement pension compa compensation pension the answer is compensation pension next question commutation of pension is allowed without medical examination in respect of superannuation pension invalid pension compulsory pension compassionate allowance your time starts now important question this is commutation of pension is allowed without medical examination in respect of superannuation of pension next question commutation of pension is allowed after medical examination in case of those granted pension on conclusion of disciplinary proceedings those granted pension on absorption in body controlled financed by government those who apply for commutation after one year from the date of retirement those who granted com compensation pension your time starts now this is also important question commutation of pension is allowed after medical examination in which cases the answer is those who apply commutation after one year from the date of retirement in such a case it will be after medical examination only if a government servant applies for commutation of his pension 3 months before the date of his superannuation the commuted value of pension becomes payable on the date of application the date of receipt of application the date of retirement uh, the next day following the date of retirement your time starts now whenever a government servant applies for commutation within uh, just 3 months before the date of superannuation then the commuted value will be paid will be due on it will be the due on the date of next following the date of retirement that means uh, the day next to the date of retirement today today is retirement tomorrow it will be due for payment of commutation of pension if a government uh, pensioner applies for commutation of his pension after his superannuation within one year of his superannuation the commuted value of pension becomes uh, payable on the date of retirement the date of application the date of receipt of application by the head office none of the above your time starts now after within one year if he applies then when it is due the answer is the date of receipt of application by the head office next question the maximum amount of pension that can be commuted is 1/3 40% 50 100 is equation it is 40% is the maximum next question the commutation factor is based on the age of the pensioner on the date of retirement the age of pensioner on the next birthday the age of uh, date of application the age of 60 years in all cases the answer is age of pensioner on the next birthday the commutation factor table will be there in that whenever he is retiring if it is a voluntary retirement case it will be on the next age next birthday for superannuation it will be 61 for other cases the next next age birthday Mr X a government employee is due on due to retire on 31 1 his pension works out 10143 the maximum amount he can offer for commutation is 4557 4057 20 paisa 4058 4060 time starts now maximum amount that he can commute is the answer is 4058 it should be rounded off last nomination entry of a group insurance scheme and list of family members of government servant is maintained under which part of the service book some other questions also i am adding here part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 gis nomination entry of gis and list of family members is maintained under which part important question is part 2 in which month of the year uh, employee should hand over his copy of service book to her office uh, for up to date entries january july december month of joining of service your time starts now important question this is there will be two copies in uh, of service books in duplicate it will be maintained and one copy will with the employee one another copy will with the employer and uh, during the month of january his service book should be handed over to uh, to comply with the entries in the in his copy of service book 
that is in the month of january this is important what is the duplicate uh, uh, what is the cost of a duplicate service book you know try to post in the answer in the comment section within how many days government employees office should return his copy of service book after up to date entries uh, as per rule 257.3 of gfr 2005 Fifteen days, twenty days, thirty days, forty-five days. The answer is thirty days. Within thirty days, in the month of January, they have to return. Next question: If an employee date of birth is the first date of the month, or shall retire on on the date of afternoon of the last day of the same month, on the afternoon of last day of preceding month, on the afternoon of same day of the same month, on the afternoon of the first day of the same month? The answer is on the afternoon of last day of the preceding month. If it is first, it will be. last day of the preceding month if it is uh, any other date other than first it will be the uh, last day of the same month next question without a previous sanction of the government a group a government servant should not accept any commercial employment from the date of his retirement within 6 months 9 months 1 year 2 years our time starts now already this we have seen it is one year within one year the government servant uh, under group a should not uh, accept any commercial employment without the sanction of the government next question which period is counted as a qualifying service uh, of the government servant duty and periods treated as duty all kinds of leave with leave salary deportation in foreign service extraordinary leave on medical certificate and ul without medical certificate granted due to inability of the employment to join or rejoin duty on account of civil commotion for prosecuting uh, higher technical and scientific studies uh, fifth pre appointment training followed by immediately by the appointment as group c and group d employees service on probation followed by confirmation service as a cs apprentice suspension followed by minor penalty suspension followed by major penalty and absence from duty including suspension in any if the reinstating authority orders that it shall count <coughs> options are only 1 2 3 4 are correct B one two three and as uh, eight is correct. All of the above are correct. Only one three four five six seven and nine are correct. The time starts now. We have to identify which of the following is a qualifying service. That is also correct. So the answer is C. All of the all of the above. Probation means followed by confirmation. It is also service only. next question all the service are given here you should understand which period of service is not counted as qualifying service uh, one service rendered before attaining age of 18 years service as apprentice except as cs apprentice another is absence treated as dice non overstay of leave or joining time not regularized as leave uh, with leave salary ul without mc other than circumstances uh, beyond his control and uh, suspension followed by major penalty if the reinstating authority does not order that it shall count as qualifying service only 1 2 3 and 4 only 1 2 4 and 6 only 1 2 3 and 6 all of the above so time starts now not call, count as a qualifying service the answer is all of the above are not qualifying service taken as qualifying service okay next question the qualifying service of pension or gratuity is calculated and expressed in completed dash fractions equal to dash above shall be treated as one dash half year 3 months half year 3 months half year 3 months one year half year 3 months half year half year half year your time starts now the answer is completed half year fractions and equal to Three months and above shall be treated as one half year. Okay. Next question. After how many years of service, the intimation about the issue of certificate of qualifying service to the employees uh, given by the head of the office is in consultation with the accounts officer is required, or when it is, or they may ask this question also. When is the periodic verification of qualifying service is made? After completion of eighteen years of service and age, and again five years before date of retirement. 
after completion of 20 years of service and again uh, 5 years before date of retirement after completion of 24 years of service and again 2 years before date of retirement after completion of 18 years of service and 2 years before date of retirement your time starts now periodic verification of qualifying services made when that is the question the answer is 18 years of service after completion of 18 years of service and again uh, it will be made uh, periodic verification after again uh, five years before date of retirement two times it will be made the average emoluments of retiring employee will be the average of emoluments drawn during the last how many months six nine ten answer is ten months next question retiring pension is given to those employees who retire as voluntary retirement premature retirement before superannuation a and b none of the above your time starts now retiring pension means what the answer is a and b voluntary retirement and premature retirement before superannuation next question invalid pension on retirement is given to those employee who declared by the competent medical authority to be permanently incapacitated for future further service declared incapacitated by the side of the office for further service both a and b none of the above your time starts now the answer is it is declared by the competent medical authority next question what type of pension is given to the employee in case of abolition of uh, employee's permanent post and provision of alternate employment of equal status is not possible or offer of lower post is not accepted important question invalid pension compensation pension retiring pension compulsion retirement pension our time starts now whenever an employee is not accepting a lower post or equal status of the post is not available at the time of abolition of a certain permanent post in case such a case what type of pension is given the answer is compensation pension is given in such a case next question compulsory retirement pension should be less th should be less than dash of full compensation pension or gratuity or both one half two third one fourth one third your time starts now this is also important question the answer is two third it should be less than two third compulsory retirement pension next question every head of the office shall undertake the preparatory work of processing of pension case how many years before the date on which the government servant is due to retire on superannuation five years three years two years one year the answer is one year okay next question 12 months if they say how many months before form 7 the form 7 assessing the family pension or pension or family pension or and gratuity to be sent to pao before date of retirement 3 months 4 months 6 months 9 months your time starts now form 7 it is 4 months 4 months before you should send form 7 next question information about uh, government dues on government servant shall furnished by the head of the office at least dash months before the date of retirement uh, so that the dues are recovered out of gratuity before its payment is authorized three months two months five months nine months regarding the government dues the answer is two months two months before the date of retirement uh, dues should be recovered next question in no case a pension including the compassionate allowance granted shall be less than per mention 3500 6000 9000 12000 including the compassionate allowance it should not be less than 9000 next question which points are correct information uh, regarding additional quantum of pension payable uh, as and when the pensioner attains the age of 80 years and above 80 years to less than 80 years additional quantum of pension is 20 percent of basic pension 85 to 90 it is 30 90 to 95 30 95 to 100 50 100 above 100 percent basic pay only one and two are correct only one two and three are correct only five is correct all of the above are correct the time starts now the answer is all of these are correct these things you have to remember take a screenshot next question government under the definition of ccs pension rules 2021 means central government state government both a and b neither a or b your time starts now ccs pension rules 2021 according to it to government means it is only central government next question 
pension disbursement uh, disbursing authority under c suspension rules 2021 means branch of a nationalized bank or post office treasury including sub treasury accounts officer all of the above your time starts now pension disbursing authority means what the answer is all of the above next question retirement benefits under c suspension rules 2021 includes pension service gratuity retirement gratuity all of the above your time starts now the answer is all of the above next question the appointing authority may be may by order in writing withhold or withdraw a pension or a part thereof whether permanently or for a specified period under which circumstances if the pensioner is employed in a private firm having a remuneration more than the pension if the pensioner is convicted of serious crime or is found guilty of grave misconduct if the pensioner is involved in some petty cases if the pensioner is not looking after his family your time starts now withholding of pension under rule 7 of uh, ccs pension rules the answer is if the pensioner is convicted of a serious crime or is found guilty of uh, grave misconduct who reserves the right to withhold or withdraw pension as per rule 8 of ccs pension rules the appointing authority discipline authority pension disbursing authority president of india your time starts now 5 seconds who can withhold or withdraw pension under rule 8 it is president of india next question central ccs pension rules 2001 has been notified in the official gazette on the answer is 20th december 2021 next question ccs pension rules 2021 shall also apply to a government servant who has put on induction training on or before 31 of december 2003 followed by appointment on regular basis after 31st december 2003 A government servant appointed uh, after 31st December 2003 to a civil post or post uh, in connection with the affairs of union, if he fulfills the conditions uh, for coverage under these rules in accordance with uh, any special or general order issued by the government in this regard, only one, only two is correct. Both one and two are correct. None of the above are correct. Your time starts now. The answer is both one and two are correct. Next. one more important question what is the name of the online system for sanction of retirement benefits and tracking of sanction and payment of pension by the government servant and other authorities concerned with the sanction of pension to the government servant online system what is that name anubhav karma yogi bhavishya sampurna your time starts now please post your answer in the comment section online system for sanction of retirement benefits and tracking of the payments of pension by the government authority it is bhavishya very very important bhavishya bhavishya online system next head of the department as defined under ccs pension rules 2021 means an authority specified in schedule 1 to the delegation of financial powers rules 1978 CCS pension rules 1972 CCS CCS rules 1965 CCS conduct rules 1964 your time starts now head of the department as defined in CCS pension rules 2021 means uh, an authority specified in schedule 1 of what the answer is delegation of financial powers uh, 1978 next question which among the following in is the service in which a government servant uh, receives his pay with sanction of the government from any source other than the consolidated fund of india rule 3 of ccs pension rules 2001 deputation for freelance service foreign service temporary transfer the government servant receives his pay with the sanction of the government from any other source other than consolidated fund of india it is foreign service next question Which among the following statements are correct with regard to Rule Five of CCS Pension Rules 2021? Statement one: The day on which the government servant retires, or is retired, or is discharged, or is allowed to resign from service, as the case may be, shall be treated as his last completed working day. Statement two: The date of death of the government servant shall be treated as a completed working day. Statement one only is correct. Statement two only is correct. Both statements are correct. None of the above are correct. your time starts now the answer is both statements are correct next question 
in case where the government servant immediately before his retirement or death was absent from duty on leave or otherwise or under suspension the date of retirement or death shall be rule 5 of suspension rules 2021 part of uh, such leave or absence or uh, under suspension treated as working day either absence or working day as per direct discretion of the competent authority none of the above your time starts now government servant immediately before his retirement or death uh, was absent from duty on leave or otherwise was on suspension the date of retirement or death will be part of such leave or absence or suspension only next question future good conduct shall be implied condition of every grant of pension and its continuance under which rule of ccs pension rules 2021 rule 8 9 7 6 the answer is close to your answer in the comment section future good conduct it is rule 7 Rule eight is the president's uh, withholding the pension. Next question. As per pension rules, two thousand twenty-one rate of death uh, gratuity when length of qualifying service is one year or more, but less than five years is two times of emoluments, six times, twelve times of emoluments, half of the emoluments for every completed six months period of qualifying service, uh, subject to a maximum of thirty-three times of emoluments. Post your answer in the comment section. Above one year. Less than five years. The answer is six times emoluments. Next question. As per CCS pension rules 2021, the rate of death gratuity when the length of qualifying service is five years or less than eleven years, two times, six times, twelve times, half of the emoluments uh, for every completed six months uh, period, uh, subject to maximum thirty three. Answer is twelve times of the emoluments. Next question. As per Rule 54 of CCS uh, Pension Rules 2021, every head of the department ha- shall have the list prepared by 15th day of every month uh, of all the government servants who are due to retire within the next 15 months of the d- of that date. Uh, it is 15 months of the date. Okay. Next question. Family of the deceased government servant shall be entitled to family pension when. Rule 50 of CCS Pension Rules. When the government servant uh, dies after completion of one year of continuous service, government servant dies before completion of one year of continuous service, provided the deceased government servant considered concerned immediately prior to his appointment uh, to the service or post was examined by the appropriate medical authority and declared fit by the authority for the government servant. After retirement from service and was on date of re- death of the receipt of pension or compassionate allowance, all of the above. Your time starts now. Family pension is entitled. Answer is all of the above. Thank you. If you have not seen the pension video, class on pension video, please watch that one. Thank you.